Hi, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Um, we're back here with the alleyway. I, uh, the last time we worked, we worked on the bars and these electrical units here. Um, today I think I want to work on this building, see how far we can get. Um, I think what I'll do, I'm going to press Shift F and Tab and go down to the ground and WASD and walk around here some and just see how it looks, how it feels. It feels like the the dumpster may be a little small compared to a person size. Uh, but I think the building here that we just worked on, this and that, those look pretty good. The windows, I think, are in the right place. The doors, pretty much the right height. Yeah, so I think that'll work. Um, let me hit that. And I think, uh, let me turn on this. There we go. I think what I want to do is make some bricked up windows. Now we've got these here, which are squarish windows that have been kind of bricked up. Um, we also have these here. And these are kind of round on top there. Um, I think I'm going to try doing a couple of those maybe. Let's try that. So I think I want it on this building and I'm having trouble seeing actually as I tumble around seeing all the parts. So I'm going to turn on, and I did this the last time, I'm going to turn on wire and draw all edges and you can see now that turns on the wireframe, but that's just for one object. You can turn them all on for all the objects by hitting A to select everything and then press Alt and click these and that will turn on wire and draw all edges for everything. There we go. Now we can see a little better. Actually, I don't think I want it for the car. I'll turn that off. There we go. So now you can see all the edges. Whoa, I went through the floor. Let me try that again. Shift F, tab, there we go. And now you can see, yeah, I'll go with that for a while. All right, so let's take a look at this building. I'm going to move it to another layer, M3. Go to that layer, and let's uh, take a look at this. Um, so what do we want? I want something like this. I want those windows that are kind of curved on the top. I'm just going to insert an edge loop so I know where the two uh, st stories are. So we just, it's a two story building. Now, I think I want one of these archways. Let me uh, bring in a cylinder. Shift A and, uh, oh, let me get out of that. I'm going to, I kind of like to bring in new objects and I will. Ad I will need it to be a completely new object because I'm going to try and use booleans here. Uh, let's rotate it. Um, oh, first, well, that's okay. Did I? Uh, I need a triangle fan on that. Let me get rid of that. Shift A, mesh, cylinder, triangle fan over here. 32 is all right. Let's keep it at that. I'm going to rotate it around the Y, RY90. Now, for this, I need to cut this in half. So I'm going to get rid of this bottom part right here. And... Um, then I'm just going to extrude down, I think, is all I need to do. Grab this edge around here all the way, and then let's just hit E and drag down. So that's going to be the uh, shape of the window. Maybe a little bit taller like that. Something like that. Let me fill it. Um, probably don't need to do that edge. Now let's see 
how big we want these. Let me scale this up a bit. So how big do you think this is? Let me bring back the other parts like this. Okay, so if that's the size of the car and uh, that's going to be a little too big. Let's maybe put it right about like that. And uh, you think that's big enough? I think something like that. There we go. Okay, so if we come back here, now this is how big we want the windows to be. So I'm going to duplicate this. Maybe put these over here. I like how there's a one, these two are higher and that one's lower. So maybe I'll bring these up a bit. Do another one and put it down here like that. I kind of like that. I don't know why. And then do we also do them up top? Well, I guess we could do some of these square ones up top and have those bricked over. Why don't we do that? Um, so I'll just go ahead and insert some edge loops for those. Let's say we want, uh, let's say we just want two. Let's do that. Right in here. So these are going to be the two bricked over square windows and these are going to be our bricked over a curved windows. All right. Um, so I think what is probably the best way to do this is a Boolean. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to com combine these with Control J. Um, I'll center the origin at the geometry. Um, yeah, let's try this. So. Let me think about this. I uh, haven't done Booleans in a while. Let's go to the modifiers. Let's bring up Boolean. Um, let's make it uh, a difference. Let's call this something. I'm going to need to name this object something. I usually like to name it with, with an A, like A underscore cutter so it pops to the top and then let me bring these in I don't need them very far in something like that now let's go back here there's my a cutter and something didn't go well didn't like that no union no I want a difference, but something's not working real well there because of that. Let me see what happens when I apply it. Yeah, see, that's not what I want. Okay. Something went wrong there. Um, let's see. I just want a Boolean. Okay. All right. So this is what I usually do. When I have a problem, I break it down so it's really easy. Uh, I make, here we go. This is what I do when I have a problem. So here we have an object. There we go. I'll call this a underscore test. So we go there. We do boolean difference test and apply. And it worked. Okay, see, I have everything correct. I'm doing everything like you're supposed to, right? Okay, let's try this again. Take this, move it in, here, add modifier, boolean, right? Make it a difference, 
a cutter and something goes horribly wrong. So it looks like maybe I have too many, um, too much going on in the Boolean in the cutter here. Let's do a test with this guy here and see what happens. RY90. Drag that in. Interse intersect that. Boolean. Difference. A test. Where's my test? Oh, wrong, <laughs> wrong object. Let me put that here. Difference and make that a test. Apply. Still not doing it. Huh. Oh, I know why. Because it isn't solid. That's why. Darren, you... You took the backs off. All right. So the problem is, the problem is it is it isn't solid. You can't do a Boolean on a paper thin object. I believe that's the problem. So um, I took the backs off of these too soon. That's, that's what I did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and solidify this. Give it lots of thickness. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and delete all that afterwards, right? I'll apply it. Now I'll take this, move that in just a little bit. I only need it in just a hair. Now let's try this. Grab that. Boolean. Difference. A cutter. Apply. And there it is. So that was it. So, once again, the problem is, is you can't Boolean a paper-thin object. So, see, sometimes you just do things, or I do things, in the wrong order. It happens. It's okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and just grab these guys, and all of these, and all of these, and all of these. Don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. So what I should have done is just <laughs> left this as a cube at the beginning. There we go. All right. So is that everything? There we go. Yay. All right. So um, we could triangulate these too because... Uh, they're going to need to, you know, they're going to be triangulated once they hit Unity anyway. Unity is going to do all that for us. Um, so, what I want to do, though, I want to break this out, each of these out, and pull them forward just a bit. Uh, so, what I could do, I guess, is grab these edges here. Let's grab these. No. All right. Here we go. Let's grab these edges. No. Let me grab those edges. Why is that doing that? That's interesting. Oh, because it's going all the way around. That's why. That's why. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is just then edge split this with Control E and edge split. And then I want to just take these with the L key and just move these up a bit. So they're kind of like that. And that will accept a brick uh, texture separate from the brick on the wall there. All right, so let me grab this and this. Edge split. Grab those. I just want to pull them up just a hair. Something like that. Uh, and this over here. Same thing. Uh, 
There we go. And move that up. Okay, so now we got those in place. Uh, we can get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. I don't think I'm going to do any more arch windows because they were kind of a pain in the butt <laughs> in the first place. Um, uh, let me grab those window blocks here. I'll grab one of these and duplicate it. And let's uh, G shift X and slide those over here and move that out. Now we can place this here. There we go. All right, so this will be our little blocks underneath. That's this right here. Looks like it's a little tighter to the edge, isn't it? Something like that. All right. And let's move that over here and get that in place. Okay. Oh, one more. There we go. And ultimately, each of the buildings will be pretty much all one object. I'll be com com combining all of those. And there we go. Um, UV. I'll be UV m mapping these individually. So this will be all one uh, one object and one UV map. This will be all one object and one UV map etc. All right. Dang it, I keep doing that. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to grab all of these up top and once again I'm going to scale in Extrude and scale in. Bring that out a bit. And push that in a hair. Then I think I want to... I didn't do that up here. Well, I did. I pushed it out just a little bit. I think I want to do that up here as well. I'm going to just grab these faces here. And just extrude those out a hair. Like so. There we go. Now, these up here, uh, I'll just extrude those in. Like so. Uh, once again, I'll break them off into their own pieces. So I'll hit P and uh, separate by s selection. Uh, maybe move them back out just a bit. Yep, there they go. And then I'll grab one of these. Uh, or I'll, maybe I'll grab that one. And move that up here. Looks like it could be quite a bit wider. Maybe a hair thicker too, like that, since it's a bigger window. There we go. Okay, there we go for that. So we've got that building pretty well done. There isn't any back door on this, although there is a door there. Mm, but there isn't on this one. I don't see a door per se for this one. It's just a back of the building. So I'll go with that. Uh, okay, so there's that. Let's see, what else? Let's bring everything else back. Um, what about, do I want to take on the, f the fire escape? That is going to be a challenge. Let's take this to a whole new layer. And let's take a look at it. All right, let me take a look at this.
So, in this build, we got blocked over windows with metal here. And then what's interesting, what I find is the windows by the fire escape barred over like they can't get out. <laughs> How are you supposed to get out? Is there a door there, maybe? Maybe that's the door, but I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that must be a doorway there that they can get out of. Looks like it's curved on the top. I don't need to make it curved. I don't care that much about that particular door. So it looks to me like we've got a lot of stairs here. I might be able to use the array modifier for the stairs. We could try that. And then um, a couple of just cubes scaled for the railings. Um, it looks like, you know, earlier I thought these were tubes, like round tubes, but I think it's just flat railing all the way down. So that might be a little bit easier, actually. These look like, this is a tube here, but I don't know if I care about that. That's, I guess, to for the whole thing to swing down or something. Or maybe that's not even connected to the, maybe that's just a pipe. All right, well, let's try this. What I'll do is I'll get the um, I'll get the fire escape kind of in place, and then I'll put windows in around it and a door down here. All right, I think I can do this. Let's see. Okay, so. Um, still looks to me like these things could be a little wider you know like they could come out a bit how far not something like that okay and now let's see if we can use the array modifier to get um, these done I'm gonna move the cursor to the selected so it's kind of right in between here and add a cube. Let's see if we can do this. Why not? Looks like fun. I know we all have a our own things that we find f fun. <laughs> this may not be fun for everybody, I know, but for me, I like this. It's like a puzzle. It's like a challenge okay I'm gonna move this up to here I'm not sure we can do this but let's give it a try looks like the stairs are a bit narrower than these platforms like this all right now I'd like him to go down and kind of at an angle can I do that with the array modifier? Let's find out. Or can I do it? I'm sure there's somebody who could. Let's see if I can do it. Okay. So we probably want to go down in the Z. So let's put zero here and one down here. Um, so that's going up. We probably wouldn't want to do negative one that's going down oh negative 11 okay let's see let me uh control three five z okay so now i can kind of get a sense of how many we need here i'm gonna stretch them out just a little bit like that Where's the car? Where's the car? Let me bring back the car and just so I can see. Somehow that helps me. Yeah, that may be too many. Well, maybe not. Let's try that. I'm gonna go with twelve. 
There we go now. How do I get them to go at an angle? I forget. Offset? Why? Oh, there it is. Nice. Woohoo. Oh, how I love Blender. Okay. So there are our stairs. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's not bad. Let's try that again. I'll take those. Spin that around, and I'll duplicate them, and I'll bring those down over here. Ooh, okay. What if it's something like that? Do you think they're the same amount of... No, they aren't. So, let me bring the count down. Some like this. Bring this up like that. How many is that? Nine. Would they have nine? I guess they would. All right. And then, how about up top? Let's try this. Duplicate it. Bring it up here. Oh, that's pretty close. Let's try this. Uh, how about ten? Yep. I'd buy that. Okay. Let's do that. And that. Actually, I can... Yeah, okay. Good. Look at that. I love it. Now, let me select everything again and go back to those that object. Alt-click on the wire and draw edge, and that gives me wireframe on all of those. All right. Now, haha. <laughs> This looks interesting. Let me go back to my view here. Um, what I'd like to do is be able to make one railing and then just duplicate it. It looks like I've got... So it looks like I could make this and this. And there's an X there. So two verticals, an X, or maybe just, no, gosh, I can't tell what that is. I guess I'm just going to have to do it my own way. Because there are these X's here, two, three, four, yeah, okay. I think I got it. Let's let's try it. So I'm going to move the cursor to here. Go around to my orthographic view. And I'm going to go ahead and do that two right there. So, cube. Uh, scale in the Y. Let's spin around and scale in the X. Get it really thin there. And the Y. Okay. So, this maybe is that. Let me bring our uh, a six foot tall thing up here. Gosh, we're looking a little bit too. We're not looking big enough here, are we? I mean, is that really, that looks like it's more than six feet coming down there. Hmm. This doesn't, this looks like it's, if I put this here, that looks about right. But all of this here, let me grab all of this and move it down. Now let me grab this and grab this and move it down. Yeah, that looks a little bit better, but this needs to be a little bit taller. Let me grab
grab that face and move it up. So if that's a six foot person, Yeah, something like that. Okay. All right, so I got to redo these. Or at least just add to it. That's the beauty of these things. I can realign them. And maybe go like this. Okay. That feels a little bit better. Let me bring this up here. So how many do I have here? I've got 12 there. This, I've only got 10. That's about right. Okay. Yeah, that's feeling a little bit better. That's if, if this is about the size of a person, they could come down and then this, this could swing down and they could get down here. Okay. I'll buy that, okay. Uh, this thing here, let's duplicate this and this. And then we need two cross pieces, don't we? It almost looks like it's on the outside though. No, I'll go ahead and keep them on the inside for now. Let's see how it works. And then uh, let's grab one of these. Duplicate it. Spin it around. Um, RX90. Let's turn it into Y, R, Y, 9, 0, something like that. Yeah, okay. Get this up here. Oh, good, that's still selected. That's nice. Okay. And then... We're going to need one more right here. Might even pull that out just a little bit so it isn't intersecting there. Okay. Um, now these X's, I'm going to grab one of these. Um, duplicate, move it, let me think, oh, okay, I know what I can do, I got it, I, I got it, uh, move this to here, get right on top of there, now, I could also put it behind there, let's put it behind like that. Now, how about in front? That seems better. Like that. Now, tab into edit mode, move this down, and then I just take it and slide it over. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's try that. Set origin to geometry, duplicate it, and now let's spin it in the Z axis, R, Z, 1, 8, 0, boom, done. Yes, okay, good. I'll do the same thing over here. They are, um, you know, crossing each other, and that's okay. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let's take this. Duplicate Y, move it over to here, like that. And then I could take this, match it up like that. Combine these two, Control 
j tab into edit mode now i've got those faces still selected and move those in okay so now we've got railings let me select everything go back here alt click wire and draw all edges so i can see them yeah okay that'll work let's do that um i think what i want to do though before I do anything else, is clean it up because I don't need the tops and bottoms of all of those things. I know that seems, I'm gonna duplicate this around and if I start duplicating it now, uh, I'll have to clean up more than if I do it now. So, let me see. Yeah, I think I better do it now. So I'm going to grab all of these. Move it to M5. Let's try that. There it is. And um, what I want to do is grab these things. Shift H. Uh, oh, I better combine combine them, not K. What did I do? What's Control K? Anybody? Know? <laughs> what did I do? Uh, Control J, and then delete these, and delete these. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. I'll hit the wrong shortcut key and I have no idea what I've done and then I don't really find out what I did until much later uh, shift H control J tab get rid of those faces get rid of these there we go H and now I'll select all of these control J Oop. and I'll put the pivot point right down here to selected and then move the pivot point the origin to the 3d cursor there we go so now we've got one object with that pivot point right there that's good. That's what I want. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Let's bring everything back in our other layers. And now let's begin putting this in place and see what we can do here. Um, I'm going to have to think about the railings going down here, but it doesn't look like... Let me look. It doesn't look like they have many, if any, crossbars. Like there's one there. Yeah, those will be other, another piece. So I'm going to take that right there. And let's duplicate it and move it on up. <coughs> That'll probably work. And how about up here? So up here, I think I will get rid of uh, get rid of uh, hmm. Well, I could grab those. Yeah. And then just get rid of these with the L key. There we go. Right? Yeah, that'll work. Let me move this in. So I think we can get that to work if we duplicate it and move it in the X here, spin it around, RZ90, yeah, there we go. 
get this in here. That looks like that'll work. Just want to put it right there. Okay. Um, now, do they? They don't seem to have railings on the inside, do they? Only on these stairways, and that's fine. Um, I could take. So I feel like this shorter you know like that yeah there we go maybe slide that back a bit like that all right and then the actual stairs let's deal with this I want to put railings on these. So let me go back to where do we have these layers four and five. And um, how does that work? Oh, I see. It looks like looks like we've got bars right here on either side that connect up. All right. So maybe what I'll do is grab one of these, uh, duplicate it, split it out with the P key, move it in a bit. Let me move the origin to the geometry, move it in a bit. I can uh, fill that up at the top here with the F key. So there we've got our bar for the railings. We could do that over here. Uh, grab these two and let's move them over here like this. We probably need them down there as well. And that's one thing I think that is fun about Blender and doing something like this is I've never thought about how a fire escape is put together. But you get to think about those kind of things when you're doing something like this. I don't know. I, I find it kind of interesting. And I don't know that I'm doing it exactly the way it should be done or correctly. But I think I'm getting close, and I'm having fun. So there. Let me move that there. And then I'll take these and move these up here. OK. There we go. Now, uh-oh. I didn't uh, grab them all, did I? Try that again. Grab this one and move it over here. This one and move it up here. Like that. Now I should have them all. Okay, so I've got two up there. Yeah. Looks like this is going to have to be a little bit bigger. Like that. Okay, so I've got two up there, two up there, two down here. Now I should be able to con connect them in one way or another. Um, how do I want to do that? I think what I should do... Mm, <laughs> I could be kind of tricky. Uh, <laughs> how tricky do I want to be? Hmm. Let me think here. 
if I inserted some edge loops here and then I had faces to bridge edge loops between these two, it might just uh, it might just work. The problem is, is I should have put those edges in before I began duplicating them all over the place. But it doesn't mean I can't still do it and duplicate them over again. This one is a little bit off. Let me move this into here and expand that just a bit. There we go. So it's right there. So what let's do Well, let's try it. I'm going to take these two and I'm going to combine them, control J. And then what I'm going to do is tab into edit mode, control R. And if I insert four edge loops here, still too much, isn't it? Well, I guess what I could do, oh, oh, I know what I could do, duh. <laughs> so let me put one edge loop here for the top part. And I'll put another one here and another one here. And let's try this. Then, I know you're gonna say he's gonna go through all of this again. Yeah, I sometimes do this. And hit L and delete that. Faces. Now I'm going to take this guy. And we're going to do it again. But it's going to be so much better than now. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I will combine these two. Control J. Now let me get rid of these. Grab these, move these up here. Now, now I can take these four, these two and these two, combine them with Control J again. Now, if I tab into edit mode and I take this one and I take this one, is this going to work? Want to want to place odds? It may need to come out though, huh? Well, no, they don't really do that. Let's try it. Uh, bridge edge loops. What is that? <laughs> uh, bridge edge loops here. Control E. Hmm. I'll be done. Is it gonna work? Ah, you know what? <laughs> I'll I'll go with it. I'll go with it. All right. Uh, let's try it again. Here, here, and down there, right there. Trolley, bridge edge loop. Here and up here. Trolley. Oh, that was edge split. No. Trolley bridge edge loops. There we go. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll do it. Uh, let's now. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're going to you're going to kill me. But I'm going to I'm going to delete those and um, duplicate around. I just wanted to test and see if it would work and I think it will so now I'm going to go back to having these be their own object right and duplicate them all around okay so now I can come around here and get rid of those and you know what sometimes you just got to try things and this is honestly this is what I do so much is I just I try it I mean it's there's no there's no harm in it. There's no shame. Just do it. 
and enjoy the process, you know? There we go. And I know there are going to be lots of people who are like, you could have just done this or done this or done that. And you're right. You're right. Learn from my mistakes. That's the thing. There were there are lots of other ways to do this. But, as I said, I'm having fun. Hope you do too with Blender and modeling and animation. If you're not having fun, then <laughs> find something else to do. Because this is just fun. All right. I'm going to wind this up here in a few minutes. So let me just uh, finish these up. So, just like that, and this, control E, bridge edge loops, yeah, why not? Control E, bridge edge loops, yeah, okay. Now this one over here, here, here. And this one here. Okay, uh, let's do this one here. And this one, uh, I think I'll bring this one forward just a smidge like that. Combine these two. Tab into edit mode and same thing here. This one, this one, and then this one. I, I don't think it'll w work if I select two, uh, both of the faces, but it might. So I'll, but I'll just go ahead and do this. All right, and one more. Let's go here, here, oh, this one, and this one. Control J. Zoom in here. And uh, this one, this one. And I might have been able to duplicate these, but I think the angle of the stairway and everything is just enough off where I wouldn't have been able to very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and do it th this way and it's not bad. Just a few minutes of time to go through and do this. All right. So there is our um yeah, I think that'll work. And so what I'm going to do then is put another railing along here. It looks like we've got kind of a railing here. And I'll put that in and like a uh, counterweight here, right? It's got a counterweight coming out here. So I'll extrude out from here and put a counterweight on. Yeah, but then I think uh, next time we'll go ahead and start working on putting the windows and gutters and things like that, like these things here and the windows um, on that building for the next time. So let me bring everything else back here, see how we're doing. Yeah, let me drop down. Shift F tab. Ah, drop through. Let me try that again. Shift F tab. There we go. Let me run around and see. Yeah, so a person could maybe jump up and grab that and pull it down. And that's how it looks from the ground. That's not bad. Let's also take a look at how it looks from the roof. Let's say we're looking down 
here like that. Yeah, okay, that's going to look, that's going to read like a fire escape. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, well, thanks for hanging. I appreciate it. And uh, have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Well, take care.